Kamusta? Today I will show you how to replace the fuel filter on a Toyota Wigo. I got this replacement part from a Toyota dealer for 427 pesos and 75 centavos. I also bought a new set of fuel pump bracket screw with washer for 26 pesos each. I bought 8 pieces. Let's now pull the hood lock release knob. We'll use a support rod after lifting the hood cover. Open the fuse box inside the engine bay. This fuse box will help us locate the one for the fuel pump. It's this 10 amp fuse on the far right side. Use this puller to detach the fuel pump fuse. Remove the rear seat cushion by pulling the two clips in front and unhooking the two hooks at the back. We'll be using a flathead screwdriver to pry this metallic cover plate open. Pull out this power connector. This is the release clip that you need to depress to disconnect it from the fuel pump assembly. Let's put a piece of paper towel inside the connector to prevent dust and dirt from getting inside it. Let's do the same for the wiring harness. We'll be using an isopropyl alcohol and a rag to clean the surface of the fuel pump assembly. We don't want any contaminants to fall into the gas tank and this type of alcohol dries up quickly and that's what we want. You can use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the fuel pump bracket. Phillips screwdrivers are not created equal so choose the right one to avoid stripping the screws on the fuel pump assembly lid. If you have one or if you can borrow one, use a power tool like this instead. It would make your life a lot easier. Get a 1 4 inch drive socket bit adapter like this and an 8 mm 1 4 inch drive socket with 6 points. Turn the chuck clockwise to open its tip. Insert the socket and adapter into the chuck. Turn the chuck counterclockwise and use a chuck wrench to tighten it. Set the setting in reverse so it would loosen a screw, not tighten them. Let's keep these things in a safe place. Replacing a rag under the fuel suction tube in case some fuel would leak out. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove this hose out. Place a paper towel into the fuel tube to protect it from dirt. Remove the rag and get the tube out of the way. Take out the fuel pump bracket like so. Inisin uli ang ibabaw ng fuel pump assembly. We'll use this clean container for it. Try to be extra careful in removing this part.
Let's cover the gas tank with a small plate. Yung hindi nyo ginagamit. Ibabalik din natin ang metallic cover for now. Open all the windows or doors when doing this project. Gasoline is flammable, so be careful. This is a fuel sender gauge assembly. It measures the amount of gas in the fuel tank that the driver sees on the dashboard. This is the fuel pump motor. It's responsible for putting Arwigo's gasoline from the fuel tank to the engine. The price of a replacement fuel pump motor from Toyota dealers is 16,000 pesos. To take care of our fuel pump motor, we need to avoid using our unit when the fuel level is already very low. We also need to change the fuel filter on a regular basis. According to the owner's manual, the recommended interval to change the fuel filter is 80,000 kilometers or 8 years, whichever comes first. My 2017 unit has a mileage of 47,000 kilometers. I'm replacing the fuel filter anyway for video tutorial purposes and to take care of my unit's fuel system. We'll use a flathead screwdriver to disconnect the old fuel filter from the unit. We need to pry out three plastic connectors to detach it. These are the three fasteners. Let's compare my four-year-old replaceable part with this new one. Installing our brand new fuel filter is basically the reverse process of removing the old one. This is the fuel pump bracket. This is the front and back side. Let's open the metallic cover again. Let's also remove the temporary cover. Tilt the fuel pump assembly and insert the fuel sender gauge unit first. Then gently push the filter inside the tank. Place the assembly like so and remove the paper towel from the power connector. Slide in the bracket. We're now placing the 8 screws in a crisscross pattern. Then we'll tighten all of them in a crisscross pattern as well. Let's put back the fuel suction tube. We'll just need to insert it all the way in until it clicks. Reconnect the power connector harness and reinstall the metallic plate on top of it. We'll clean this area too before we reinstall the rear seat cushion. Reconnect the temp amp fuel pump fuse in the fuse box, then place back its plastic cover. We'll turn the key to the run position twice. This will uh, put some pressure on the fuel lines. Then we'll start the engine. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Please consider subscribing. May God bless you. And I'll see you soon.